My beloved, don't ignore God's message, because God has something special for you that He wants to convey. If you wish to receive it, please listen to this message carefully and type Amen at the end. My beloved child, I see you. I see every facet of your being, every struggle you've faced, every tear you've shed in the dark of night. I see the weight you carry, the burdens that press upon your shoulders, and the pain that has etched itself into the very fabric of your soul. But more than that, I see the strength within you, the resilience that has kept you going even when giving up seemed like the easiest option. You've gone through so much pain, my child. The journey has been arduous, filled with obstacles that at times seemed insurmountable. There have been valleys so deep you thought you'd never see the light again, mountains so high you doubted your ability to climb. You faced trials that have tested the very core of your faith, endured storms that threatened to overwhelm you. But through it all, you've persevered. And I want you to know that I'm proud of you. Every step you've taken, every moment you've chosen to press on despite the pain, has been a testament to the spirit I've placed within you. Your strength, even in your moments of weakness, reflects the image of my son in you. For it is in our weaknesses that my strength is made perfect. And you, my beloved, have been a living example of this truth. I know there have been times when you felt alone, abandoned, forgotten, moments when my presence seemed distant, when your prayers seemed to echo unanswered in the void. But I want you to know that I have been there, every step of the way, even when you couldn't feel my embrace. I was holding you, even when you couldn't hear my voice. I was speaking words of love and encouragement over you, for I have promised never to leave you nor forsake you, and I am not a God who breaks his promises. Stay in the battle, my precious one. The fight may seem endless, the night may seem eternal, but I assure you that dawn is breaking on the horizon. Every step you take in faith, every moment you choose to trust me despite your circumstances, brings you closer to the victory I have prepared for you. The enemy may whisper lies of defeat, but I declare over you a future filled with hope and purpose. Remember the words I spoke through my servant Jeremiah, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. These words are not just beautiful sentiments. They are my solemn promise to you. The plans I have for you are greater than you can imagine, more wonderful than you dare to dream. And these plans will come to fruition, not by your might or power, but by my spirit. Don't give up. I know there have been moments when surrender seemed like the only option when the weight of your circumstances threatened to crush your spirit. But I am the God who parted the Red Sea, who brought down the walls of Jericho with a shout, who raised the dead to life. And I am not finished writing your story. The chapter you're in right now, filled with struggle and pain, is not the end. It's merely the prelude to a magnificent testimony of my faithfulness and your unwavering trust. Think of my servant David, who was anointed as king but spent years running for his life, hiding in caves, before he saw the fulfillment of my promise. In those dark times, he wrote psalms that have encouraged millions through the ages. Your current struggles, your pain, your perseverance, they are not in vain. They are shaping you, refining you, preparing you for a purpose greater than you can currently comprehend. I'm going to give you the breakthrough you've been praying for. Yes, you read that correctly. The prayers that have seemed to echo unanswered, the tears you've shed in the secret place, the longings of your heart that you've whispered in the dark, I have heard them all. And I want you to know that I am working, even now, to bring about a resolution that will leave you in awe of my power and love. This breakthrough may not come in the package you expect, it may not arrive on the timeline you've envisioned, but when it comes and it will come, you will see how every delay, every detour, every seeming setback was actually a vital part of preparing you for the blessing I am about to pour out. Your faith is being refined like gold in the fire. And when you emerge from this season, 
You will shine with a brilliance that will draw others to my light. If you want God's grace always upon you, then please consider to support our ministry by clicking thanks button. Remember the words of my Apostle Peter. These trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold, though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world. Your current trials are not punishments. They are opportunities for your faith to be proven genuine, for your character to be shaped into the image of my Son. Trust in my timing, beloved. I know the waiting is hard. I know there are days when you feel forgotten, overlooked, or abandoned. But I assure you, with all the love in my heart, that I have not forgotten you for a single moment. My timing is perfect, not because it aligns with human expectations, but because it aligns with my eternal purposes. Every second of delay is pregnant with purpose. Every moment of waiting is infused with my wisdom. Think of my servant Joseph, sold into slavery by his own brothers, falsely accused and imprisoned, seemingly forgotten in a foreign land. For years, it appeared as though the dreams I had given him were nothing more than cruel illusions. But in my perfect timing, I elevated him to a position of authority that saved nations. His story, like yours, is a testimony to the truth that my delays are not denials. They are divine setups for miraculous comebacks. Or consider the story of Abraham and Sarah. I promised them a son, an heir, but year after year passed with no fulfillment in sight. They grew old, and the promise seemed impossible by human standards. But is anything too hard for me? In my perfect timing, Isaac was born, and through him came the lineage of my son, the savior of the world. Your breakthrough, like theirs, may seem impossible in human terms, but I am the God of the impossible, and what I have promised, I will bring to pass. Hold on to hope, my child. Hope is not merely wishful thinking. It is a confident expectation of the good I have promised. It is an anchor for your soul, steadfast and secure, even in the stormiest seas. When circumstances scream despair, let hope rise within you like a mighty fortress. For I am the God of hope, filling you with all joy and peace as you trust in me, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Apostle Paul wrote, "We can rejoice." Too, when we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance, and endurance develops strength of character, and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. And this hope will not lead to disappointment. Let these words sink deep into your spirit. Your current trials are not meant to break you; they are meant to make you. They are developing in you a strength of character and a depth of faith that will sustain you not just through this season. But for the rest of your life, your perseverance will lead to the fulfillment of my promises. Every promise I have spoken over your life, every word of prophecy, every dream I have placed in your heart, they will come to pass. But perseverance is key. It is in the waiting, in the pressing on despite the pain, that your character is being molded into the image of my Son. Your endurance is not in vain. It is producing a harvest of righteousness and peace. I see how you've held on, even when your grip was slipping. I see how you've continued to praise me, even when your voice was choked with tears. I see how you've chosen to believe, even when doubt clouded your vision. And I want you to know that your perseverance moves my heart. It activates my power in your life in ways you cannot yet comprehend. Remember the persistent widow in the parable my son told. Her perseverance moved even an unjust judge to act on her behalf. How much more will I, your loving father, respond to your persistent faith? Your breakthrough is not just possible; it is inevitable. For I am faithful to my word, and what I have promised, I will bring to pass. Let me remind you of who you are, my beloved. You are not defined by your struggles or your pain. 
You are not the sum of your failures or the product of your circumstances. You are my child, fearfully and wonderfully made, created in my image with a purpose that transcends your current situation. You are an overcomer, more than a conqueror through Christ who loves you. Feel free to share this video with up to three people if you feel the need for God's presence. Let others too bask in the divine light of our Heavenly Father. You are royalty, a member of a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, my own special possession. The enemy may have tried to convince you that you are forgotten, forsaken, or too far gone, but I declare over you today that you are remembered, cherished, and within arm's reach of the breakthrough you've been longing for. The lies that have bound you are breaking, the chains of despair are shattering, and a new day is dawning in your life. You are my masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which I prepared in advance for you to do. The trials you're facing have not disqualified you from your calling. On the contrary, they are qualifying you for a level of ministry and impact beyond what you've imagined. Just as I used David's years in the wilderness to prepare him for kingship, I am using your current struggles to equip you for the destiny I have prepared for you. I want you to begin to see yourself as I see you. When I look at you, I don't see your mistakes or your shortcomings. I see the masterpiece I created, the beloved child for whom my son gave his life. I see potential waiting to be unleashed, dreams waiting to be fulfilled, and a destiny waiting to be embraced. You are not too old, too young, too broken, or too anything for me to use mightily. In fact, it is often in your weakness that my strength is made perfect. Think of my servant Moses, who at 80 years old thought his time had passed, his mistakes too great to overcome. But I called him to lead my people out of slavery, to perform signs and wonders, to be the vessel through which I would reveal my law. Your age, your past, your perceived inadequacies, none of these are obstacles to me. They are opportunities for my power to be displayed in and through you. Or consider my servant Paul, who described himself as the chief of sinners. His past was marked by persecution of my church, by violence and hatred. But I transformed him into one of the greatest apostles, using him to pen much of the New Testament and to spread the gospel throughout the known world. If I could use Paul, with all his past mistakes and failures, how much more can I use you? My beloved child who has been faithfully persevering through trials, think back on all the times I've brought you through in the past. Remember the battles I've won on your behalf, the times when all seemed lost, but I made a way where there seemed to be no way. Your current struggle is no different. The same God who parted the waters, who rained manna from heaven, who shut the mouths of lions, that God is your God. And I am still in the business of working miracles. Recall the words of my servant David in Psalm 23. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You may feel as though you're in the darkest valley of your life, but I am with you. My rod of protection and my staff of guidance are comforting you, leading you to green pastures and still waters. This valley is not your final destination. It's merely a passage to the breakthrough that awaits you. I want you to start preparing for your breakthrough, not in anxiety or striving, but in joyful expectation. Begin to thank me for the answer before you see it. Praise me for the victory while you're still in the battle. Declare my promises over your life with unwavering faith. For I am not a man that I should lie, nor a son of man that I should change my mind. What I have said, that will I do. What I have spoken, that will I bring to pass. Remember the story of Joshua and the walls of Jericho? I instructed my people to march around the city for seven days, and on the seventh day, to shout with a great shout. To the natural eye, this strategy must have seemed foolish. But their obedience, their act of faith before seeing any change in their circumstances, activated my power. The walls fell, and they took possession of the city. 
In the same way, I'm calling you to acts of faith even before you see your breakthrough, your praise, your declaration of my promises, your obedience in the face of seemingly unchanging circumstances. These are powerful weapons that are tearing down strongholds and preparing the way for your victory. In this season of waiting, draw near to me like never before. Let my word be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Type Amen in the comments and don't forget to share this message with up to three people so that God can help you. Immerse yourself in the truth of who I am and who you are in me. For it is in my presence that you will find the strength to persevere, the courage to keep believing, and the peace that surpasses all understanding. Make Psalm 91 your dwelling place. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Let my presence be your refuge in times of trouble, your fortress when the enemy attacks, your safe haven when the storms of life rage. As you abide in me, you will find a peace that defies your circumstances, a joy that transcends your trials. Remember, my child, that your breakthrough is not just for you. Your story of perseverance and faith will become a beacon of hope for others who are walking through their own valleys. The comfort you receive from me in your trials will equip you to comfort others with the comfort you've received. Your testimony will break chains, open blind eyes, and set captives free. So hold on, not just for yourself, but for all those who will be impacted by your story of overcoming. Think of my servant Job, who endured unimaginable suffering yet remained faithful. His story has encouraged countless believers through the ages to hold on to their faith in the face of adversity. Or consider my servant Paul, whose letters from prison have brought hope and strength to millions. Your current struggles, your journey of faith, your coming breakthrough, all of these will become a powerful testimony that will impact lives far beyond what you can currently imagine. I want you to know that even in this moment, as you read these words, I am working behind the scenes on your behalf. Angels are being dispatched. Circumstances are being aligned. Hearts are being prepared all to bring about the breakthrough you've been praying for. It may not happen overnight, but it will happen. And when it does, you will look back on this season of waiting with gratitude, seeing how every tear, every sleepless night, every moment of choosing faith over fear was vital in preparing you for the blessing to come. Remember the words of my prophet Isaiah. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Even now, I am doing a new thing in your life. It may not be visible to the natural eye yet, but it is springing up. Soon, you will see streams of living water flowing in what has felt like a spiritual wasteland. Your breakthrough is not just coming. It has already begun in the spiritual realm. Don't allow the enemy to discourage you in these final moments before your breakthrough. He knows his time is short, and he may try to launch his fiercest attacks. But greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. You are shielded by my power, covered by the blood of Jesus, and filled with the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead. My child, click on the join button to join us as a cherished member of our community. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Put on the full armor of God, as described by my servant Paul in Ephesians 6. Let the belt of truth secure you in the reality of who I am and who you are in me. Let the breastplate of righteousness guard your heart against condemnation and guilt. Let your feet be fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace standing firm in the assurance of my love and acceptance. Take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Put on the helmet of salvation, protecting your mind from doubt and fear. Amen.